Some of the same reasons why it's so fascinating to develop with large language models, you know, you, you give them goals instead of rules. You sort of point them off in the right direction instead of telling them exactly what to do and, you know, if this, then that, is also some of the reason why it's extremely challenging to try to apply existing software development principles to large language models. You know, they're much more expensive at this point in time than, you know, traditional software. Uh, they run much slower than traditional software. And so instead of, but inspired by, the software development life cycle, which is a methodology for you know, building and improving software over time, we developed at Sierra the agent development life cycle. And I think we were able to be you know, very first principles and you know, very clean slate about it because Sierra is an AI native company. It was you know, started in 2023 uh, when ChatGPT and shortly before GPT-4 were out. So we were familiar with where this technology was going and the different characteristics that it had. Now, what is the agent development life cycle? So it, it borrows a lot from the software development life cycle. Um, it also involves working closely with our customers uh, because building an agent is kind of a um, collaboration between our engineering team, customer engineering teams, and also you know, customer experience management teams. And so what we typically do is we start with alignment. You know, we figure out what are the goals that we're trying to set? What are the guardrails that we're trying to enforce? And how can we set the agent up for success? Then we go and we develop the agent together. Uh, in most of our um, customer engagements, you know, this is anywhere from a two to eight week process. We develop the agent to be able to handle all of the different journeys that their customers might go through. Once we've developed the agent, we test it. We put it up against automated testing, uh, simulations, persona-based testing, as well as just good old manual quality assurance, uh, whereby customers and Sierra employees you know, test all of the different directions that it could go in, uh, as well as simulating with you know, past customer conversations. So we have a, a battery of different tests that we can run. And then finally, we release the agent. You know, every time we do a proof of concept with a customer, we're putting the agent live in front of their customers and getting real feedback uh, to be able to improve and to be sure that you know, when they decide to um, you know, enter into a long-term agreement with Sierra, it's a total no-brainer. And then finally, there's continuous improvement, continuous quality assurance. And we basically built all of our tools around making these processes as easy as possible. And that last one is the one that we spend most of our time in because you know, after those first two to eight weeks or so, you know, we're still continuously improving and developing the agent you know, for years to come. Our Sierra Experience Manager is kind of our one-stop shop application where you can view all of the reports from your agent, dig into every conversation and see exactly what the agent was thinking when it made a decision to say a certain thing or to take a certain action, uh, as well as write tests to make sure any issues that we find you know, never regress in the future.